Good morning ladies and gentlemen We are here at the Hazleton truck stop Hazleton, Pennsylvania truck stop <coughs> We already picked up our load this morning We just basically uh, Picked it up and uh, Left to go over here to the truck stop Send our paperwork to our uh, Dispatch so uh, they can start working on uh, clearing me for the border. Yeah. Just waiting to get off the yard here, the property, and get back on the road. But yeah, it was nasty light last night, as you guys saw. But let's go see what it's going to look like right now. I know it's fairly windy out there, so uh, hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue out here on the road today. Looks like it's just going to be like yesterday. Just going to be wet road maybe for a little while and then it's going to dry up. That's from what it looks like. Yeah, we gotta go up here. I believe it's 81. And then over to 80 and go along there for a little while and on to 180 and go north from there to New York. <coughs> yeah, that's right. But anyways, let's get on down the road and uh, see if we can make it up to Toronto tonight, or Mississauga, I guess. Hopefully the road will be good enough for us to make it. And then we'll see what we'll do from there, I guess. Right now the challenge is just getting up there first, right? That's my challenge. this formula <laughs> oh well anyways let's go on here and uh, in 800 feet let's see how the road is going to be I-81 north look at this guys this is what the highway looks like we are pretty much on dry roads right now yeah, it's a little windy but uh, looks like the interstate is looking good yeah I'm happy for that. At least we'll be able to uh, get to Toronto if it is like this all the way there, right? And you know what happens when we go to Mississauga, right? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna go to Master State. Unless we can't get there, but other than that, we're gonna go to Master State. Wow, that's a... That's a nice little load that that flat bag is holding. Look at that. Got one little uh, thing on that flat bag. That's it. <laughs> that must be nice. Hopefully that pays good though. I can't really see that paying a whole lot, but hey, maybe he had other stuff on there and he had a few different places where he had to deliver, right? That could be too. But yeah, no, it looks like it's still cloudy up there, but. Uh, for the most part, we got pretty much what you see is what we get. For right now, anyways. Uh, I think I'm gonna be okay here. I'm just thinking there is an on-ramp there, so. At first,
Because it looked like the semi truck was coming onto this on ramp here too, and I was gonna move over, but that wasn't the case. They were taking that other road up there, so no worries, no worries. But the sun is trying to pop through, but it is crazy windy out here. But at least we have a little bit of a load. Then we got like 13,390 pounds. And the trailer is only half full, so you know that weight is almost all on my drive, so... We should be alright with the... Uh, we got a few slippery sections. At least we should have some traction. That's right. But yeah. Let's see what else we'll be able to show you today. Miles and miles of trucks rolling end to end. What a sight to see! How did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, Help me! So the drivers all pitched in, and with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything They all come together the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load when those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well, the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns The black smoke filling up the air It's the greatest show on earth Imagine what it's worth to that smiling face who sees someone that cares. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Happy, happy, happy. 
Should be rolling into New York here pretty soon, I think. Yeah, I think so. Well, this is a beautiful uh, stretch of highway, though. A lot of up and downs. I guess it wouldn't be so good if it was snowstorm up here, but... Yeah, I mean, just for driving down there, it's beautiful, gorgeous area up here. You got a rest area up here to the left. If you was going south, you could pull in there and overlook the mountains up there, you know? Or the valley, don't look down in the valley up there, you know? It'd be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah. But anyways, figured I'd give you a little bit of a spiel on what's going on. I'm just happy that I got all my parts cleared. ACI has been set up. I'm all good to go across the border. So that's good. Fantastic news. It's exactly what I want to hear. Now we're just going to have to wait for a reload. I told him I want to go back home from Toronto. Because I figured, you know what? It's Wednesday. It takes me at least two days to get home. If I even have enough hours to make it home all the way by Friday. So I might even have to wait till Saturday morning to make it all the way home, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes with the hours. I know it's tight, so we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed that we have enough hours to make it home even. I mean, on Saturday I do get hours back in Canada because I left Saturday, so we can, we can, I suppose, and we just have to wait till after midnight on Friday, Saturday night. And we can go home. But, so I figured, you know what, it's going to take me probably six and a half, seven hours to get to Toronto from here. I had about 31 and uh, change or, or hours, you know, so uh, minus about seven. Yeah, it leaves me, what, 24, 25 hours or something like that, so that's just about the time that I need, that I need to go home on, so. So it would, would work out perfectly if I could just go home and I'll be home for the weekend for a change, you know, I haven't been home on the weekend in a good while, so I think it would be nice if I could go home, be home Friday night, and then I would take Saturday and Sunday off, uh, I would take that opportunity, you know, like, once I get home on the weekend, why not take the whole weekend off then, you know? But, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's see what happens, right? Here we go, guys. We are just coming up to I-90. But before we can get on there, they want to charge us money. Yeah, they want to get us to pay them. Just for allowing us to drive on the highway. And then keep to the right 0.7 miles. But we got an easy pass up there by the window. That's right. And uh, that will take care of it. That's right. Penners is the one that takes care of that. Well, they pay the fees anyways on the toll highway, so... So yeah, we're going to be on I-90 here in a very few minutes, very few minutes. In a half mile, keep to the right on I-90 West. And then we got about an hour before we hit the border. Yeah. In a thousand feet, we have a toll booth ahead. Oh well. We got to pay it, otherwise they won't allow us to drive on here. We'll have a cop behind us. No chases. That's right. So let's make our way down to the toll booth lane where they take easy pass. I guess we got a bunch of four wheelers there that wants to be in a hurry. Yeah, just wants to be in a hurry. You wouldn't want to let me get in there. Why would they, right? That four-wheeler didn't hardly got a green light. I think that four-wheeler, the second four-wheeler ahead of us there, I don't think he got a green light. Not from what I could tell. But, that's the way it goes. The right on I West. We done taking care of ours. I looked and we got a green light. 
Yeah, here we go. We want to go west. That's right. So it says 58 miles up to where we got to stay left on Buffalo. So that means in about, yeah, I would say about a, an hour and 10 minutes, maybe less than 10 minutes, we'll be at the, uh, at the border. I don't feel the need right now to stop anywhere, so. But maybe we will. Maybe we will in one of these rest areas up there. They got Tim Hortons in there, right? I've been craving a Tim Hortons coffee for the last little while. and I was going to stop at the Tim Hortons there the other day, but then... Uh, then we... Uh, I'll slow down a little bit, let this guy in there. He was nice enough to move over, so... I'll let him in there and... Then I can speed back up, get her on them if I need to. But anyways, what I was going to say is last one time when I came down here, <clears throat> I stopped at the Flying J, if you guys remember, and I went and had breakfast in there, so I had a good cup of coffee in there as well, so I didn't uh, didn't go stop at the rest area for Tim Hortons coffee, so no, I think this time we just might. We just might do that. Make a quick pit stop there. I do have this coffee mug in here and fill that sucker up with some Tim Hortons coffee and we'll be good to go. Just have a coffee for a change, right? Yeah, anyways, as you can see it's light flurries again, on and off, on and off. That's the way it's been all day long, but that's okay. Now that's a very nice gentleman right there in the semi truck. He let me go in first. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Well, as you guys can probably see or tell, we are climbing a, onto a bridge that will lead us into Ontario. That's right, look at the lineup over here going into the States. Wow, that is crazy. That's the most I've ever seen it up here. Wow, that's a lot of... A lot of trucks lined up over here to go into uh, New Keep York, eh? I'm right kind of wondering if my buddy is out here somewhere. Forward. I know he is, I think he's on his way to Massachusetts, so I'm going to keep an eye on it and see if I see him up here somewhere. But yeah, we're just about to enter into Ontario. Right about now. That should do it. That's right. But yeah, I... I figure this uh, bridge I crossed Crossing quite a few times, Entering but uh, I don't know if I shone this bridge uh, throughout the day, like on daylight time too much. Pretty much every time I come across this one, it was dark. So we weren't able to show you too much, but uh, here you can see right to the right up there is where we cross or where the, the booth are to go clear our load, I suppose. 200 meters. Clear us. Right that's Erie's not too Circle bad. A few trucks in there, but that's usual. That's not too bad looking in there. But that's good. Should be not very long till we're across the border then. So I guess we'll see you guys all on the other side. Well guys, here we are going up on a big bridge that connects towards the other side of the lake, I guess, up here. And we are in the Hamilton, Ontario area on the QEW. Yeah, that's what it is. Skyway Bridge, I think that's what they call it. And I had a subscriber of mine that commented on my last week's video. And I was in his area. So thank you for being a part of my channel let me know uh, that you were from that area yeah now I have uh, one more p person that I know roughly about which, which area you're from and you've probably seen this bridge a dozen times you know exactly where I'm at then that's right well we got a couple slower four-wheelers so we're gonna pass them we just can't go all the way in the left lane. That's against the law up here in Ontario. For the most part, there is certain highways you can do that on, but uh, 
Up here on the 401, 403, you see the sign right up here? It says no trucks on the left lane. They're basically the sign indicating no trucks over six tons or something like that on the left lane. So, yep, there is another one. Yeah, six, no, it says over 6.5. I guess that's width, like wide. So they don't want big trucks in the left lane. As we can, we'll move over back into the right lane. So there we go. Now we are back in the right lane. There you go. Pretty soon we need to move over into the left lane again, though. But for now, we will stay in the right lane. We're all, always supposed to be in the right lane. I know I don't always do it either, but sometimes I do. I try to, anyways. Well, we got to move over into this lane here because uh, in less than a mile we got to be on this lane in order to get to our connect to the road that we need to be on. That's right. We don't have that much further to go. We'll be in uh, Mississauga area. And uh, I don't know if I told you guys already, but uh, we do now have a reload to pick up at the terminal and we'll go back to Winnipeg. Well, that's fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm really, really happy about that. That's for sure. Pick 400 meters. Keep to the left on Highway 403 Q to Toronto. That's right. 403. Here we come. I can't go on that 407 because that's a toll highway. I don't have a toll for running that highway, so. We're going to stick to this highway. Continue on this road for 22 kilometers. Every time I get into the uh, Toronto area, I set my GPS to avoid toll highways. So that way uh, I don't accidentally uh, listen to the GPS and it tells me to go on to that toll highway. That happened to me one time, long time ago. And uh, it was dark at night. And I guess I wasn't really paying too much attention to on which road I was at. All of a sudden the GPS says keep right and I'm keeping right. I wasn't looking really at the signs and next thing I know I'm right there on 407 and I said oh shit, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. But no we were on so we got off on the very first exit. We got off of the inner, uh, off of the uh, toll highway. And never heard nothing from the company but that's a given we're not supposed to be on it so because we don't have their easy pass or whatever you want to call it for that particular road. It's not really called an easy pass for them, but some kind of other pass. Yeah. Looks like we got about 48 kilometers to go up to our terminal. That's about half an hour drive. Pretty much, pretty much exactly 30 miles, maybe like 29 or something like that. So, so yeah. So we'll be at our terminal here in about half an hour, unless we get some traffic then obviously that's going to slow us down, right? But so far it's moving good. I can see it's already starting to build up there on the other side though. And what it would be at this time of the day, right? It's, uh, well, it's 7 minutes after 4 Eastern time, 7 minutes after 3 Central time. So that's... Uh, starts getting rush hour right you can see it there on the left uh, on the other lane right going the other direction but going into it it should be all right for the most part I know they're on 4010 where I'm going to be going on to a little bit later there's really uh, usually a little stretch where until where I turn off it gets a little bit backed up over there but for overall not too bad you know but uh, Anyways, we'll go do our thing there at the terminal, switch our trailers, and well, before we leave Toronto, you know what's going to happen, right? We're going to go stop at Master Steak. That's right. We also have to go and fuel up the truck yet before we leave. That's right. So once we get there, I'll probably pick up the trailer. Maybe I'll go over to Master Steak first. I don't know yet exactly how I'm going to do it, and then... Uh, once that's all done, I don't know how I'm going to do it exactly. If I will fill up first and then go over there and do my thing, or if I'll uh, 
fill up after, but we'll decide that when we get there. But no matter what, we gotta fill up. I'm already on the red. We gotta fill up. It's gonna move over. I'm a little close, too close to that truck ahead of me there. I don't like to be that close. Move it to the center, or not really center lane, but the other lane here. Get away from him a little bit. Get some distance between us. But yeah, anyways, we'll decide what we'll do when we get there, I suppose. And but one thing is for sure, we're going to stop at Master State. That's one thing that we're going to do. No matter what, that's going to happen. Unless they're closed that we can't eat there. Then we can't eat there, right? <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty guys, we have made it up to Toronto. What is this four-wheeler doing up here? Alright, I guess you just wanted to get out of Burger King. Yeah, we are in Toronto, Mississauga, Ontario anyways. And we're just going to go over here to the Flying J. We already dropped our trailer. And then we're gonna go find us a parking spot. And then uh, we are gonna go take us a shower. That's right. Hopefully there won't be a crazy lineup to get a shower. I'm really hoping that's gonna be the case. So we can get a shower real quick. And the reason I dropped the trailer is because this truck stop is usually pretty packed so you can't really get in here with a trailer sometimes so today it looks like there was some room but uh, I didn't know that before right so uh, we took our chances and here we are we got a spot right here where we can draw a biker in with our bobtail right there we go so we'll uh, back her in here and then uh, Proceed we'll go we'll take a shower and then we'll go over to uh, Master State, have a good dinner. And then we'll go grab our trailer and get out of Toronto. That is the plan anyways. So I guess we'll go do our thing and then we'll be right back y'all. Well guys, here we are at Master State. And uh, we can't go without showing you guys, right? That's how we'll look. We got some salad, dinner roll, or a nice steak. I know he put some onions on here. I was gonna get onions in here and he put some in here. <laughs> but that's okay. Bought a Pepsi and we're good to go. So let's get to eating. Some of you guys have been asking on uh, how much do we fuel up for, right? So let's take a look. See? 900 liters. That equals 02. 238 gallons worth of fuel. Uh, US gallons and that is Canadian dollars so $863 worth of fuel that we got up here in Toronto so anyways we're gonna be out of here all right ladies and gentlemen we are done for today that's right look at this we are out here in Prairie Sound Ontario and you can't really even look over the amount of snow that they got up here that is a lot of snow let me turn on the lights look at that that is a ton of snow we got up here and I just drove in here as you can probably see there's another truck parked right there and there's a flatbed right beside me there but because it's uh, actually on an incline like this up there I figured well I'm just going to be driving into here there's plenty of space behind me so we're going to just back her out of here tomorrow morning and we'll be out of here but uh, yeah we are done for today so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back there I already started up my computer and we're going to go edit yesterday's video so we don't fall too far behind and then uh, we'll call it a day we'll go to bed here as soon as that has been put together and we got a long day to go tomorrow look at that one my gps says it says 1115 kilometers to go well, let's see how much that's in miles let me see if I can pull up the uh, converter program up here. 1115, right? Well, it says it is 692 miles. That's what we gotta do tomorrow. That's right. 
and I showed you guys earlier a little bit on how much we filled and stuff like that and I was going to talk about this and that was with that amount of fuel I can usually with the full tanks of fuel I can run two full days at the end of the second day I have to fuel though that's that's it I mean I'm done finito I mean uh, if I do okay in fuel if I do terrible on fuel I wouldn't quite get two days probably but if I get really good on fuel I can even go two and a half days with uh, with two with the tanks eh? and I can generally get from Toronto all the way to Winnipeg but uh, supposed to be really cold up there this week so I think we're gonna go up to this place where I have it set right now which is there just before Thunder Bay and there's a flying J up there and that's our goal for tomorrow night and we'll go up there and uh, we'll fuel her back up again because by that time I'll probably be below half a tank so and if it's super cold I don't want to be below half a tank no way that's right but uh, anyways we are done as I said before and uh, let's get over there and let's do some editing and then uh, we'll see you guys again to come tomorrow 2 a.m. Central Standard Time is when I release my videos and uh, I know not everybody's gonna be up at that time but that's okay right I did do some editing again on the uh, description box and I do have two apps that I put in there where you guys can find me and you can actually uh, talk to me like a walkie-talkie type program and you can actually find me on there and you can actually talk to me and uh, I got a uh, uh, even on the one cha one uh, app there I got like a channel on there where you can uh, I call a trucker Rudy community and you can actually find on find me on there and if I'm on there I'm usually on there at least a couple of times throughout the day and you can talk to me and uh, ask me questions or whatever right so uh, but anyways we're gonna go to bed so we'll see you guys all tomorrow and be sure to check out some of the links that I leave down there below hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button share the video because that helps me out tremendously people find out about my channel so with that being said have a good one everybody and we will catch you again tomorrow on this channel right here anything in particular you want to say leave it down there in the comment section we will be glad to respond to you so have a good one behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down